Folks, this show is going into the toilet, I mean into the bathroom, to talk about a problem I know you all have at one time or another, and that is condensation on the toilet tank. Well, it's caused from all that warm, moist air that comes from showering and bathing, condensing on the cold tank, and running down onto the floor, causing all kinds of problems. Not to say the mess is always having to be cleaned up, but it could discolor the floor as well. Well, how do you correct it? Install a toilet tank uh, liner. Very easy to do. Inside the box comes complete all the installation, also the adhesive in a can, and also the applicator. <laughs> Looks like a popsicle stick to me, but I guess it does the work. And I think this is why most people don't do the job. Look at the instructions just to put a little bit of foam inside a toilet tank. Well, I'm gonna show you how easy it is. But first of all, let's take a look inside the tank. Oh boy, what a mess. And I'm sure that that is one of those uh, jobs that people look inside and say, nope, not this weekend, we're not going to do it. Well, I'm gonna show you just how easy it is. But first of all, there's a few tips, and one of them is cleaning. So let's get at the cleaning. First thing I'm gonna do is shut off the water. That's the valve right underneath the toilet tank. And then I'm gonna flush the toilet. That way I'm going to empty the tank to the extent that the water left in it is going to be helpful to me in order to uh, do the cleaning and rinsing. Once the water is down, I'm gonna use one of the cleaning formulas, all kinds of cleaners that you can use. The most important thing is use something that will clean that residual out. Now I'm gonna use spray nine just because it's nice and convenient and it's in a spray bottle. But I'm gonna spray it all throughout the tank and you can see it already starting to take the, uh, the residual of the water off. Spray over top of the float and also on the side walls. And then I'm gonna use a brush fairly long handle brush and get in and, and scrub it. Now I'll get this all finished up and then we'll come back with one more tip before we get at the lining. Now that we have it all cleaned and I've taken as much water out as possible by using a towel, now I'm going to take a clamp lamp just with a 100 watt bulb and I'm gonna clamp it on the side of the tank you can use a uh, stand-up lamp to stand it inside the tank itself. The whole idea of the, the bulb is to generate enough heat to bring the moisture that's left inside the tank to a vaporized position and vent itself out of the tank, giving us a nice china dry base, the china being the tank, so we can now glue the foam on. So I'll just turn the bulb on. Now that will stay on for 12 hours. Then we'll come back and we'll proceed into uh, adding the adhesive and putting the foam in place, insulating the tank and stopping that uh, condensation. Now that 12 hours has passed, the inside of the tank is really nice and dry, and that's very important for the adhesion to take place with the foam. Now, I've already got the bottom of the tank insulated with the foam. Very easy, it wasn't that difficult at all. In fact, we had one cut across to, between the two, the flush valve and also the filler valve, and then very simply, cut out around uh, the filler valve and the flush uh, flapper. Now that's all in place. Now what we want to do is cut the foam for the ends and then the back and the front. Now we want to cut the, the bottom corners just radius to, to allow it to, to fit nicely to the bottom foam, like so. And then we'll go down into the tank. And you see it sits there is perfect. Now all we have to do is apply the adhesive, put it to the back, firm it up tightly against the china, and then we'll be ready to go and do the other end and then the front and the back. Now for the last piece, the front panel, the back is already in, the two sides went in before any of the Front and back. And don't let the adhesive get you down. Any of these jobs that require a contact type of adhesive requires a little bit of patience, but it's not bad. Well, there you have it. The uh, lid sits nice and snug. We'll leave the lid off for eight to 10 hours because we want the adhesive to cure up before we fill it. But you know, you can pick up these insulating kits at building supply stores, plumbing stores, and hardware stores. Why don't you give it a try? Because no more condensation.